Hi everyone, I spontaneously booked a ticket to Taiwan and I have gathered all the information I believe will be truly helpful for travelers. My first stop was the Dihua Old Street, is a historical street with incredible architecture. I tried various local snacks and honestly, I might not remember everything I tried. Although Taiwan feels like the cool and religious brother of mainland China, Taiwan is a destination where sun planning is recommended. It's a bit challenging to be entirely spontaneous here. I saw locals enjoying bread dipped in almond milk, which I had to try as well, and it was delicious. Recommendation for the night markets, explore as many different night markets as possible. Each has its unique charm. I am a bit sick, so I'm taking this trip easy and chill. If I were healthier, I would probably have more intensive days. On the second day, I visited Chiang Kai-shek's Memorial Hall. Then I explored the cute area with small shops, restaurants and even a Michelin restaurant. I didn't plan to eat there, but seeing a line I figured it must be good. Luckily, I was the last person to get meat in my soup. And I waited for about half an hour. Afterwards, I continued to another cute and cool area place. In the Linjiang night market, you can find recommended dessert places, kind of rice balls with peanuts and seasoning inside served on ice. On the third day, I decided to dive deeper into the culture and history. I visited the National Palace Museum, which have thousands of pieces of art from Chinese rich history. Feeling a bit better, I decided to go hiking to Elephant Mountain for the sunset. There is a good ramen restaurant just 5 minutes away from the mountain. The next two destinations were the old town of Shifan and Tiofen. I recommend combining them into one day, but plan to start your journey in the morning, as it's about an hour away by train from Taipei. In Shifan, you can make a wish with sky lanterns. Enjoy beautiful scenery with a simple hike and waterfall.
Geofen is another charming old street that transformed me to a favorite night market after sunset. On the last day, I explored Wulai, Old Street and Waterfalls. Despite the rainy and cold weather and the bad luck of my phone falling into the toilet, the day took a turn for the better when I discovered the natural hot springs. It's unofficial cozy hot springs with no entrance fee. Though there is no official setup, you will find a place to change your clothes. It turned out to be the perfect way to conclude my visit to Taipei. You can find more information in the description.